Howdy guys. We are out here today with our OMO metal detector. Get the whole thing in the picture there. Remember this, we reviewed, we did a little bit of air testing on. Well, we're gonna get out uh, and do a little bit of real world testing with it today. I'm just at a local school down the street from me. Um, we're not gonna do anything fancy. We're just gonna get out for about an hour play around with it and see what we can find with it um, let's get started and see whether uh, it's any good for about a hundred dollar detector all right let me take this uh, headphones off here and show you guys a little bit about what this thing is doing okay so the mode that I've got it in it's got a mode where you can um, discriminate out low stuff mid stuff let's see if you guys can see that both and there's like a all metal mode right there no discrimination so we're gonna run it in that for a moment and here's the problem I'm having it'll beep okay there's something that it does right there but it's very inconsistent. This is one of the first times it's actually been halfway consistent. Okay, so let's pinpoint it. Okay, so we got something pinpointed there. So I'm gonna dig it up and we'll see what that is. Alrighty, so we do actually have something down in the hole, so that's good been here a few minutes this thing is not real consistent about making those beeps it's probably something really big Yeah, right there, look at that. Big old piece of iron. And let's see how this... Okay, that did say it was an iron signal. That's that low grunt, so we did get that right. But let's go to the higher tone beeps. It's, it has a habit of it'll beep once, never beep, beep again. And I can't get it to find anything in the area if I just stop and swing around there to beep again. So, I've only got a nail in this so far. Let's, I guess, keep going for a while. All right, so let's show you. Okay, so it beeped right there, never again. Beeped right. Very finicky. but it won't pinpoint anything. It's very inconsistent, it won't pinpoint anything. once and I apologize if you're getting some wind it's very windy out today just once get some iron stuff all right Can't pinpoint anything there. There we go, we got something right here. So let me dig this up and see what we got. I gotta go retrieve my shovel because it's sitting uh, over there. <laughs> All right, so I got my plug open. Let's 
because there's nothing consistent. I tried to pinpoint, there's nothing. And with the actual pinpointer, I didn't get anything either. So I don't know if it's just mineralized ground or what, but there's nothing, nothing there. And that's, that's what I'm coming up against. I'm not getting consistent signals. And when I do open it up, if it's a high tone, I'm not getting anything in the hole. So I'm gonna keep going at it for a while though, see if we can figure this thing out. All right, got my first object that wasn't a piece of iron. See, just moving this thing. And you can see right there, there's something in the hole right here. It's just a piece of... But, oh, sorry. <laughs> there's like a delay in uh, when it passes through the coil and when the speaker actually makes a sound. So it makes it really hard to pinpoint where it is. So, I mean, that was a piece of foil. It was probably trying to kill it off, but... Uh, I, I have yet to find a coin, and I'm in a school playground where I would have thought those would be in abundance. So, we're going to keep at it, though. Alright, so here's one of the more interesting signals that I've gotten. One of the first ones that I can actually repeat, even though it's showing mostly iron. shovel out of the way in case it's interfering. Where'd it go? Yeah, very frustrating. So right in there, so we'll try digging that up and see what it is. And again, I have taken my pinpointer and destroyed the plug, dug up in there, checked everything, nothing, not a single thing. And uh, nothing in there either. So I, I'm, I'm not feeling great about this thing. It's really frustrating me. I know there should be here, so I'm going to keep going a little bit more. And then I'm going to go grab my Equinox and go through this whole section here, just like follow my tracks back through here, and see what I find with the Equinox and see if there's anything here. There should be something here. I mean, a penny. This is a playground. Kids drink, uh, drop stuff all the time in places like this. There should be a, you know, a zinc penny or something here. And I found, I mean, two pieces of iron and a piece of foil. That's it. So, I'm not... It's frustrating me right now. Alrighty, so I'm sitting in the car here to uh, grab me a drink of water real quick. I've been out about an hour with the OMO detector. I like saying that, OMO. It's just something about it. Good. I, I like the name. Um, but I am quite frustrated, I have to admit. Um, my water bottle top isn't coming off. It's spinning around here. Um... I have not, except for the couple of little things that I've shown you guys, I have not had one single repeatable non-iron signal. And a couple of the iron signals I dug anyway, just in case, uh, kind of like on the AT Pro, um, the deeper it was, the less it was able to figure out what it was, so the more it would sound like, like iron. So I, I dug that in a couple of these. Some of them, the, it just disappeared, like that one that I showed you. It went away. There was nothing there. Um, I don't know what the heck it was hitting on. I don't know, an ant nest? I found in one of them. That's all I could find. So, I don't know. I'm frustrated. So, here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to take my trusty old Equinox, and I'm going to kind of retrace my steps back around the same path that I did and see if I can find anything. I'm going to bump the sensitivity down pretty low on it just to make it a fair fight and we're gonna see if I can find a few things with it just for the heck of it and see what I come up with let's go let's go see alrighty so far I found a couple of pieces of trash 
got a super shallow 24 right here should have been able to easily pick that up I mean I'm down almost to the top of the plug right now nothing special it's a zipper pull but I should have been able to pick that up and did not so that's one item let's keep going Alrighty, and I am right about in the same spot that I was earlier when I, when I was showing you the stuff out through there, the playground area. There's some kids over there now, so I'm kind of staying out of that area. And right where I was standing, I've got a penny. Not only do I have a penny, I think it might be a wheat penny. Come on, come clean. Let me dang. It is a wheat penny, and it was really shallow. A nineteen fifty-six, I think that says. I've got a wheat penny. Check that out. I mean, I should have gotten this. I'm right, walking right down the same path as I did with the Olmo detector. There's no reason I could have got this. Pure copper absolute pure copper just got a really shallow pencil top for about three inches deep probably that uh, would have been a good uh, signal but have been that mid-tone on there huh Omo uh, man I'm I'm sorry but I'm not impressed so far all right this was ringing up as a 25 and it's on the surface here somewhere or pretty darn close to it so there is no reason that should not have been picked up and I probably dug this plug about a mile too big There it is right there, just as just a penny. But like right on the surface almost. So there's no reason that couldn't have been picked up at all. Alright guys, I don't know how much of this I didn't film. I th think I missed all of it. But there was a signal right here that I could pick up with the pin pointer, which is still on, I need to turn it off, um, from the surface of the ground. I thought it was going to be a quarter because it was ringing up a 30, but check this out. I got one of these presidential dollar coins. I mean, the pin pointer could pick it up on the surface. That's how tiny my little flap is right there. That The Omo should have got that. There's no reason. That should have been a banging signal. Nothing. Absolutely nothing. I, I, I don't have words. I don't understand. The air test was so good too. Wow. Here we go. Another signal right on the top of the ground. I think this might be a zinc penny. Yeah, I'm not even using the digging tool. I'm just using my fingers. Yeah, it is a penny right on the top of the ground here. No tools required. Wow. A wheel. I wasn't expecting this. It's only like that deep, so it's not deep at all. But in the almost defense, I am slightly off the path that I traveled earlier. But check this out. I got a ring. I don't know if it is precious or not. But it's cool. It is awfully shiny. So it might be chrome, peace, spirit, soul, beauty, joy, faith, love, wish, dream, hope, peace, and we're back around. Oh my gosh, that is 925. Look at that marking. That is 925. That is silver. I just got silver for today. Wow focus there we go that's awesome isn't it 
That is a cool silver ring to find. Holy cow. Nice. I will definitely take that. Wasn't expecting that. Sweet. So here we are at home, and here's a little bit of what we got. And my clock is going off. It always has a tendency to do that. So this is mostly all the stuff that I found with the OMO detector. Just some bits of iron, like a lid to something. Um, and this. This is the only thing that wasn't ferrous that was repeatable. I think I dug that with the OMO. We're going to say I did. And I went back over the same areas, with, with the exception this was just outside that area. Um, just because I was in the area and I'm like, oh, I just want to go over here real quick. Uh, and I found a ring uh, <laughs> with the uh, Equinox. Gorgeous little surprise 925 ring. But everything else here was in the same path. The same. I tried to retrace my steps that I did with the OMO detector. I mean, all kinds of little bits of stuff that I found that I should have been able to pull out with that OMO. It's a 66 dime, almost had me a silver, had me a 30, that's a 36 wheat penny, is what that turned out to be. So, all this stuff, I'm mean, a, a freaking dollar coin, that thing is huge. Um, all that, that was missed, so, Ah, I, I, I tell you what, I want to like that OMO detector a lot. I, I would love to find a $100 detector like this that does, it does a really, really good job. So far, I haven't really seen that, though, and I hate to tell these guys this, because they were nice enough to send this uh, metal detector for me to get a review on, but you got to work on this a little bit more. Um, the consistency of uh, the signals that you get is really, really poor in real world, real world conditions, which sucks because air test on this thing was beautiful. It was so good. But that gives you a prime example of why I've always said you can't always trust the air tests that people do on metal detectors on all these videos, whether it's for something like this or for the Equinox or for a Deus or for a... Uh, a Garrett machine or whatever. The air tests don't tell you how the real world, it's in the ground, what's it going to do when it's in the ground type of experience is going to be for that detector. And this is a prime example of that. The air test, like I said, was beautiful. It was so good. Uh, for a cheap detector, it, um, it got some pretty good depth on it. When you get it out to the point where it's trying to find stuff in the ground and you're trying to actually work with it with a proper swing and all that just didn't didn't do all that great so I can't say that I would recommend it there's other stuff out there um, you can go to with the Garrett Ace series I know is pretty inexpensive uh, Fisher makes some outstanding stuff my Fisher F22 is still one of my absolute favorite metal detectors it is rock solid um, and that sucker can find some deep stuff. I found dimes nine inches deep with that little thing, which is hard to believe even. Uh, but it can dang well do it, and it's really good in relic uh, uh, for relics too. So there's there's better alternatives out there. Omo, you came close, but um, can't say there's there's a I can't say I can recommend this one. Um, I thank you for the opportunity to test it though and I hope you can use this as a way to help you refine the product because if you refine the um, whatever you need the software or whatever for the actual real world portion of this I think you're going to have a really good product. So talk to you guys later and I hope you got something out of this. See you later.